last time I saw you, you were you were not a happy man back in August. Uh, give, give, give me an idea after that. I mean, uh, were you able to move past it? Are you still bitter about no, that? No, nah, um, I was mad. I probably could have handled it better, but I was fucking angry in the moment, man, and uh, flipped the table out. And, like, I got out of the cage, was storming back there. I flipped the table and looked like a fucking asshole. It's like one of those things, you know, like you do, and then after you're done, you're like, I'm still mad and nothing's better, and there's broken stuff around me. And, like, <clears throat> that's not something I usually do, but I just really feel like I won that fight. To be honest with you, I should have handled it better. It was a learning experience for me, you know. I'm still, I'm not super young, but I'm still pretty young. I, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a more well-rounded human being, and uh, it was just a learning experience, man. Like, I, I can't blame anyone but myself. You know, I, if I like, I can blame the judges all I want, or I can blame this or that, but it's like you got to own your own shit. So that's the only way to move forward. And then. Uh, if I'd have finished, I had his back the whole second round. I should have finished the choke. Uh, should have made some slight adjustments, and I'd have won the fight. So it's on me. <laughs> well, just the lessons learned obviously can help you uh, going forward, but is that one as far as a, a professional fighter that, that you want back at some point in your career? Hold on, I'm dying over here. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to buy time. I wasn't yeah. sure if you had recovered yet. <laughs> yeah, body armor. We'll, we'll just edit that. Slight edit, no problem. Good job. Get, get, get that plug in for the body armor. I'll leave it in. Perfect. <laughs> it's more. It's more human. It's natural. Brings me. Yeah. <coughs> Ow. <coughs> Ugh. All right. <laughs> Take two. Yeah, it was a tragedy. Uh, you want that one back at some point? I mean, do you feel like you got to revisit it? Yeah, I would love to fight him again. But also, man, the universe provides like. I'm not I'm not dwelling on it. You know, the judges say he won. It is what it is. Like I, I got another really good fight in front of me. I'm gonna get a good win Sunday and and move on, man. On to the next. Yeah. No, it, it's been six months. I wonder, was that uh, self-imposed, or did, you know, what happened that it, that it took you this long to get back in? Dude, I need. To, uh, that's the first thing I'm doing. When you come off a loss, it's uh, nobody's gonna really listen to you. But when you come off a win, you get a little bit more, a little more room to not make demands, but but to to, to ask some, to make some requests. And uh, that's the biggest thing I'm gonna do after this fight is really. It annoy Sean Shelby every chance I get. Like, I need to be fighting three or four times a year, man. Like, I want to start a family. I want to buy a home. I want to provide for the people around me, and I can't do that on two fights a year, man. Like, I got I got to fight more. And so, you know, it's my fault for not having the consistent wins. I feel like I'm always exciting. I've never been in a boring fight. I always come out to fight to the fucking death. I, I try to put on a show for the fans. I, I give my heart and soul to this. It's my fault for not having the consistent wins, but you know if that's what it takes to to get these consistent fights three, four times a year, then that's what I'm going to do. You know, like I, I need to be fighting more. You know, I, I need to be fighting more. I thought maybe you might want to fight less and just go do this movie star thing, man. I thought everything was I thought everything was turning for you, dude. Let me tell you, I'm going to win four fights this year. I'm going to be a UFC undefeated, undisputed UFC featherweight champion, and then. Defend the belt a couple times, whatever. Like, I want to really cement that in there. But, like, I'm telling you, as soon as my goals are accomplished at fighting, I am out. Because, <laughs> dude, <laughs> when you do a movie, like, dude, I'm, when you do a movie, you get to hang out in a trailer. Like, whenever you're not working, you're just hanging in a trailer. Uh, they feed you snacks. They feed you breakfast. They feed you lunch. They give you per diem usually for dinner. They, uh... You're just hanging out. Like, you just get to kick it. And then, like, hey, go be sad. And then you get on camera. You're like, all right, I'll be fucking sad. I don't care. I'm sad all the time. I don't, I'll be sad. And they're like, hey, go be angry. You're like, okay, so I'm angry all the time. I'll be angry. They're like, hey, in this scene, you're really happy. You're like, I'm happy right now. Like, let's go. Dude, like, I know acting is hard, but acting is not hard, dude. Like, acting is fun. Acting is really fun and really challenging. And, um... It's fun to suck at something, which sounds weird. It's like when you when I, when you're a fighter, right? Like when, when or when you, anything, whatever you're good at, whatever your craft is, when you master it, or when you're close to mastering it, you get better every day by like one percent, two percent. Like you bust your ass, but you've already made the leaps and bounds, and now you're incrementally getting better. You're putting finishing touches on your 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 mastered craft. 
when you're new at something, you fucking suck. It's like I'm around a bunch of legitimate actors and I've never been on a set. Like, all I'm worried about is like, don't suck. Like, do a good job. Like, and it's like, like if I even do okay, I'm ahead of the game. You know what I'm saying? Because people expect me to suck because I'm new. It's like, it's like it, it's a it's fun to learn. It's fun to be the new guy. It's fun to be the worst guy there and and feel yourself getting better by 10, 20, 50 percent every time you do it. You know, like. It's fun to have a new challenge, man. That's cool. Well, it seems like you got it all laid out. I guess the first step is picking up a win on Sunday. How do you think this fight goes, man? I mean, it looks on paper. You know, you guys have similar body types. The, the game might be fun. How, how do you see this fight going? I just think it's going to be exciting, man. I'm going to just go in there and find my flow, have fun, and uh, and, and and find that finish wherever it, wherever wherever he gives it to me. I'm going to I'm going to take it. I uh, I think he's a great fighter. I think we match up well, and I, I think the way that both of us fight. You never really know. Like, he's got a good ground game. He's a good striker. I have a great ground game. I'm a great striker. Like, anything could happen. You're going to see a real mixed martial arts fight, and uh, I'm going to get my hand raised at the end of it.